third right now, looking to pass Ronnie Roberts for second. Brandon Peel to jump it up against MD Fall. And it's controlled by the Terriers, dressed in the blue uniforms, trimmed in white and red. A little different uh, look, I think, Mark, for St. Francis. Different color blue, not as uh, a dark as in the it's past. Kind of a central blue. Right side for Carl Ulmer. Straightaway Jones. Now on the left side, it's swinging around for Cannon. Down low. Pops it back outside for Brent Jones. Right side, Omer. Drop step in the lane. In the corner for Jones. He drives. Down low, Cannon. Lays it up and in. The exact same way the game began in Madison Square Garden. A layup for Jalen Cannon. Howie Dickman called it, did he not? <laughs> you cannot give those up. Lowly bounces it out for Seymour. Andrade on the left wing. Puts on the floor once, pops it up for Peel straight away. Man to man by the Terriers. On the right side, Mobley puts on the floor, pulls up for three, and knocks it down. Both was four for eight from three point range. And Mark Robbins, you're happy to know, Tom Pinson points out the streak is now one. <laughs> you were devastated. Oh, I certainly was. Carl Omer works it down low for Cannon. He's triple teamed and he lost it. Omer comes away with it. Omer drives. Scoop shot is good. Acrobatic move by Omer. Quickly come the Blue Devils the other way. Mobley lobs it up to Seymour. Mobs had that look a couple times on Saturday night. Just couldn't knock it down. To the left, Seymour. Mobley outside the arc. Peel cuts through. Mobley goes right. Mobley. Stutter step. Right corner Peel. Fakes the jumper. Drives the lane. Up with the left hand, blocked by Fall, picked up by Drakeford, shot clock at 12. Drakeford against Cannon, lobs it outside for Andrade, right corner Peel, five to shoot. Peel, hands off Seymour, who gets it outside Andrade, a three is an air ball, and it goes out of bounds. Had a perfect angle of that one. <laughs> well, good defense, certainly by St. Francis. Blue was trying to move the ball, crisp diagonal passing, but St. Francis denying any good look until Andrade just had to Try and beat the shot clock by throwing one up from 20. And again, laboring the point. That's exactly what they did in the second half. Brent Jones, Cannon, right side for Jewel. Tyreek Jewel, down low Cannon. Puts it up no good. Tipped around. Cannon has it. Reverses and hits. So give him a rebound and a bucket for Jalen Cannon. He's got four. And it's six to three. And the ability of St. Francis to get the ball down low is the key to the whole, all the action inside. Cannon needs two more points to become the second player ever with 1,500 points and 1,000 rebounds. Mobley, drop step in the lane, lost it out of bounds. Was it tipped? Yes, it was. It'll be Blue Devil basketball. They got Homer on it to start this game, and he tried to take a little bit of size disadvantage for Matt, but quickness to try to get him inside on the lane. Here's Drakeford driving in the lane. Up with the right hand, no good. Tipped by Cannon. He's got the rebound. His second. Next seven to Tyron Robinson. Jones straight away. Right side Cannon up three. Is good. Jalen Cannon. Ninth three of the year. Shoots it at 34%. Howie Dickerman takes the timeout. That was his it was that shot right there by Cannon. Pressure from the Terriers, handled by Seymour. Seymour up the right side against Jones. Backs it out right at the Blue Devil logo. Gets a screen from Peel. He goes left. Peel rolls. Seymour. Top of the keeper, Peel. His line drive jumper is no good. Rebound by Drakeford. Drakeford lobs it out for Mobley a triple. It's good. Matt Mobley had four threes against Brooklyn at MSG when he had 17 points in that game. 14 of them in the first half. And it's 9-6. So he's got 20 points in the first half against St. Francis this year. Plenty of time to go. 16-20 left. Boy, fall pushing off against Mobley. He's got to learn to take a dive on that one. Now a pull-up jumper way off by uh, Jewel. And it's rebounded by the Blue Devils. Cumberlander ahead for Brandon Peel. Peel almost travels. Regains his feet. Hands off Mobley. Moves. Goes left. Penetrates. Now backs it up. Peel and Cumberlander. Sophomore from Washington in for Drakeford. Mobley a three and he nails it. Wow. Mobs. <laughs> you know how he gave him the green light in this game. Did last game also against Wagner, but cash again. Mobley and St. Francis Brooklyn tied at nine. 
Keenan has seven of those points, and now a steal by Drakeford. Back to Dre, bounce pass Seymour, leaves it for Drakeford, stripped, but a foul on Tyreek Jewell. Hopefully they'll call it on the shot as well. 15 and a half remaining in the first half. We'll take a break, tied at nine. Blue Devil Basketball, CCSU Radio Network, brought to you by Farmington Bank. The sizzle of a steak on the grill. The crashing of waves on the beach. with Glenn Brake about, uh, well, maybe they didn't believe me he was that good. Well, maybe they forgot now, right? It's true. It's true because, uh, he and he's hit some tough shots, as Coach Breaker pointed out. He did at the Garden. Maybe it's just seeing the, the Terriers on the floor that gets uh, Matt going. Ronnie Drakeford, terrific year this year at the charity stripe. 80%, 39 out of 49. He knocks that one down. And Drakeford makes two. So the Blue Devils have the lead, 11 to 9. 15 and a half remaining. In the first half, Bruce Beal, Mark Robbins from the Dietrich Gym into the game. Glenn Sanabria, Sanabria into the game. Now Omer throws an alley oop underneath for Cannon. Tipped away, taken by Central. Here comes Seymour. Out of the pack at the free throw line. Seymour, Peel on the right. Now lobs it out for Mobley. Omer picking him up way outside. And that's actually uh, AMD Fall Garden. Him, Mobley says, I don't care. Takes to the rack. Shot no good. But tipped in by Brandon Peel. How about AMD Fall playing Mobley at 6'7", 220? Mobley's wise decision took him to the rack. He's feeling it tonight. And Peel tipped it in. Left side, Omer. Sanabria in the middle for Fall. Back on the left for Omer. A three. It's good. Well, uh, Lowell Omer, one for four from three-point range in conference play before that. He makes it 13 to 12. Blue Devils on top by one. Peel is fouled by Jalen Cannon on the outside. Where you get uh, Jalen Cannon and Brandon Peel matched up, the way Brandon's been driving the ball this year, I'm in foul trouble. And Bruce, the Blue Devils, I see a distinct pattern trying to drive the basketball early. To inbounds, gets for Peel outside the arc, brings it back out. Now holds good defense by Sanabria. Now Draper drives, lays it up and in. Good no call by the official because Eunice Hopkinson tried to draw the charge and it was barely contact. Nice and job. And again, the straight line move after the defense was over aggressive, over anxious on the perimeter. Four for Ferrani Drakeford. Hopkinson leaves it for Jones. Ball fake. Seymour doesn't bite. Now leaves it out for Hopkinson on the left. Hopkinson against the 2 3 zone for Jones. In the middle for Fall. Drop step. Long jump hook. Won't go. Rebound by Andrade. Andrade gives it for Seymour. Seymour quickly ahead for Drake. But puts on the floor. Crosses over. Fumbles behind the back now. Andrade. Now for Kevin Seymour. Seymour harassed by Hopkinson. Seymour crosses over in the lane. Tries to get a down low for Drake. But it's tipped and kicked out of bounds by. Jalen Cannon. So we will have 18 to shoot. Five and a half left in the first half. They lead by one. Cumberland the inbounds. Lobs it for Drakeford. Left corner. Cannon playing him. Drakeford puts on the floor. Backing him down. Drakeford in the lane. Jump hook. Won't go. Rebound taken down by Brent Jones. Jones into the front court. With the head up. Takes the pass right. Goes left for Cannon. Now Hopkinson. As the ball tipped, almost stolen by Cumberland. And on the right side for Jones. 20 to shoot. Approaching the five-minute mark. Jones, screen from Cannon. Cannon rolls. Top of the key, fall. Looks right at Sanabria. Left side for Hopkinson. Fakes the jumper. Left corner, Jones, a triple. Short. Rebound underneath Cannon, but it's taken away by Peel. Out left for Cumberland. KC, bounce pass. Straight for lays it up. Good and one. Beautiful delivery by Kalen Cumberland at the one-hand bounce pass from about 30 feet away, right on the money. And Drakeford laid it in. He's got six, his second field goal. And the Blue Devils lead by three. That's their largest in the first half. Now, we have seen this first half. We saw it a couple of weeks ago at the world's most famous arena. Central led by four. 
at Madison Square Garden at the half, 34 to 30. Lead is three here, 28-25, 440 remaining first half. Sanabria played on the zone by Cumberlander. Left side for Ulmer, who's checked into the game. Sanabria, they'll give him the three, doesn't take it. Left side, Omer. Now down low for Cannon. A jump hook, no good. Rebound, Omer. Back out for Sanabria. Down low for uh, Cannon, but he wasn't expecting it. Goes out of bounds. And a turnover on St. Francis Brooklyn. The sixth turnover of the game. Blue Devils with one turnover in the first half. And that's why they're leading by three. And they're taking the ball to the basket. It's a different kind of offensive game plan. And they're not letting the shot clock wind down. Well, they're not going side to side. They're going direct at the hoop. Peel, a three. It's good. Brandon Peel from downtown. Third three of the year. All in conference play. And their largest lead of the game, 31-25. A 7 nothing run. And now we're on the left side for Omer. Left corner, Jones. His bank shot is good. Was that Jewel? That was Tyreek Jewell with the bucket, 31-27 with 3.35 remaining. Seymour taps his head with the right hand. 13-4 run. Right side, Cumberlander. Down low, Drakeford lays it up and in. Back-to-back dimes by KC to Ferrani. And Glenn Breaker won't wait for the media timeout. He'll take it. Eight guys that are already in school. I, I just think of 22 overall. We got Jamelli uh, and the other kid from Southington, whose name escapes me at the moment. Uh, just a tremendous job of uh, uh, scouring the state and other, and, and you know Florida as well. Jewel for the Carriers, St. Francis, number one team with an eight and two record in the NEC. Down six, 33-27 to the Blue Devils. Sanabria goes left, Mobley outside on his own. Now a long three by Jules, no good. Give him that all day long. Rebounded by Andrade. Good defense by Central Connecticut there. Mobley will walk it up with 2.45 remaining. Mobley to the left. Right side, Peel. Fakes the three. Drives the lane. Stops, fades, and hits. Brandon Peel with the fadeaway jumper. Leading all scorers with 12. And it's 35-27. The lead is 8. And a 17-4 run in about four and a half minutes. The hop in there. Step mark offensively. Jewel, a little hesitation, lobs it out for fall. Now back for Sanabria. Sanabria, left side for Jewel. Jewel, crossover dribble on Peel. Drakeford cuts him off. Back out Sanabria, triple no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Ferrani Drew. Oh no, they changed the call. Officials Jose Carrion, Tom Regan, and David Fernandez. 2 10, left first half. Blue Devils by eight. Over St. Francis, Brooklyn, by Central Connecticut. And the Blue Devils lead it by 8, 35, 27. And here comes the pressure from St. Francis. Inbounds for Peel in the backcourt. Hands it for Mobley. They trap him in the corner. Now Peel has it. Peel gets it for Mobley. Mobley into the front court for Andrade. And they settle for Cumberlander. See, now the offensive philosophy market that they've had in the first half Taking the ball north to south, as, as you said, and attacking. If they're going to press, you have to have the exact same philosophy. Two on one. Here's Mobley driving on Cannon. His shot won't go. Tipped around. Run by Andrade. Tipped around and taken away by Sanabria. Sanabria. Left side. Jones drives. Puts it up good and one. It's just a huge swing. They press. You got a two on one. A chance to give yourself a 10 point lead. And now it's probably going to be five. That's a it's just a five point swing right there. Yeah, you're right. They had that opportunity to uh, exploit the press. They they did, and um, yeah, it's it's turned the other way. But we'll see what they do the next time. I would think the press will stay on after the yeah, main. Absolutely. Let's see if they spread it out again. Jewel makes the free throw. 35, 30, a buck 30 left. Here's Drakeford cross court on the left for Cumberlander. Ahead for Drakeford, into the front court, back for Cumberlander, he's got some room, he drives all the way, and slams it in with the right hand! How's that for attacking? Galen Cumberlander, a little daylight, and he made the Terriers play. Wow, 37 to 30, 105 remaining. 
Knee looks okay to me. Sanabria, right side, Jewel. Bounce pass, down low. Cannon lost it. Picked up by Delaney, the freshman. Here's Shaq into the front court. Fakes the pass, drives the lane, scoops it up, won't go. Peel with the rebound. Lost it out of bounds, and it'll be carrier basketball. A lot of contact underneath. 47.8 left. Glenn Fink has already used his 30-second timeout in the first half. I'll tell you what, you like, you, the Blue Devils didn't score, but they were aggressive to the bucket. Shaq Laney getting his first taste of the action tonight, and uh, that didn't slow him down. Sanabria on the left side for Jewel. Jewel goes right for Sanabria. Open threes, but 37-33. It's down to four. Laney in the backcourt. Needs help. Gets it for Drakeford. Drakeford. Cross court on the right for Laney. Cumberlanders open in the left corner. Drakeford has it. Looks to drive. And now he's called for a double dribble. And I don't understand that one. Neither does Ferrante. Now, how he... Talking to his defense, you know, this is a swing right here. They gave up the three to cut it to a four-point lead. Got to come up with a stop and feel good about going in with the lead at the break. Four-point lead, you're right. Sanabri with the ball. Three will cut it to one. He drives all the way. It's blocked. And a foul called, a blocking foul called underneath on Mobley. The official, I believe that was uh, Tom Regan from uh, about... 35 feet away. Saw that one clearly. No shot, though. <laughs> They're going to say no shot. I mean, there should be two shots. 5.6 remaining. So, yeah, Glenn Breaker <laughs> Glenn Breaker doesn't believe it either, and I don't blame Glenn Breaker. I'm with him, uh, you know, 120%. Watch, but it was not a double dribble either. Anyway. Now, watch the alley yep. You can hear Sanabria. To inbounds, looking, holding, bounce it, and the fall against Drakeford. He stripped and trying to throw it up at the buzzer. Well, it went out of bounds and hit the back of the backboard. So with 0.4 seconds left, the Blue Devils will most likely go into the half, or they're going to try to put more time on the clock. Well, maybe, you know, it's worth asking. Sure, you have one <laughs> second left. Anything can happen. It's worth asking. They're going to take a look. We saw the last time they put time back on the clock here in this building. What happened? That's what I was alluding to. Spot <laughs> record for the second half. The Blue Devils will have the basketball. Three in fact, two are right. Up four, 37-33. Again, they led by four the last, two, the last time these two teams met. Here's Mobley lobbing it out for Kevin Seymour. Kevin Seymour going right, now backs it out. Seymour wants a pick at the top of the key. Seymour goes right. Hesitation. Drives. Cross court left corner. Mobley triple. Good. What a look by Kevin Seymour. Matt Mobley knocks down his fourth three of the game. Blue Devils lead is seven. Left corner for a jewel triple. No good. Back rim rebound tipped and grabbed by Cannon of St. Francis, New York. Cannon now with four rebounds in the game. Three away from tying Ron Robinson. Jones has it. Left hand dribble. Jones fakes right now. Holds back on the left side for Jewel. Jewel in the middle, down low for a hook shot up. No good by Ulmer. Rebound Cannon. Fakes Brandon Peel in the air. Puts it up. No good, but he's fouled. So Jalen Cannon grabs his, uh, well, that's going to be his fourth rebound of the game. So that will officially put him three rebounds behind Ron Robinson. Brandon Peel just picked up. His second personal foul, Jalen Cannon to the line. Well, they've done a pretty good job, as you say, only four rebounds of keeping Cannon off the glass. But the second half is where this team for St. Francis usually turns things up. We saw it at the Garden a couple of weeks ago. 9.8 rebounds per game, and Cannon makes it one out of two. I want to thank Pete Ross of Mondo, and congratulations to him uh, for coming on. His recruiting class, a lot of people excited about that. In the middle for Seymour. Let's see if the Blue Devils attack. Seymour to the free throw line. Down low for Brandon Peel. Reverses. Can't get it to go. Tipped around, and Ulmer runs it down in the right corner. 40-34, to 34, lead is six. Yep. You can live with it. 
I was talking with Tom Pence, and, you know, can they hold on to the lead? I said, if they can break the press successfully, I think the Blue Devils can hold on to the lead. Down low, Ulmer leaves it up and in. It's down to four again. 40 to 36 with 18, 25 remaining. They back off a little bit. Glenn Breka, you get a chance to tell you how fired up he was in the hallway. Now Mowgli driving on Ulmer, lost it, saved it, but he threw it in the backcourt. Running it down is Jones, lays it up with the left hand and good. Turnover on Matt Mobley, and that hurt, 40 to 38. Well, and a quick six, a quick, excuse me, quick five to cut the lead to two for St. Francis. You've got Lowell Omer, 6'5", 225, playing Mobley here in the second half. Great for driving. Jump hook is good. Took it right at Chris Hooper. 42-38, back up to four. Now, Omer the other way, cut off by Peel. Bounce pass goes cross-court down low for Cannon, banks it up and in as Greg Andrade got caught up with Ulmer. 42 to 40. The brand appeal fell down, so the alley, the passing lane, opened up uh, for the cross-court pass. Ron Danielin, former head coach at St. Francis, New York, and Glenn Breakup, both fired up, yelling cross-court at Jones. Pass in the left corner for Drake, for a step back jump for no good. Rebound comes to Hooper. Hooper, out left for Jewel. In the lane, drives. It's rejected by Andrade. And Seymour let it go out of bounds for some reason. Yeah, not <laughs> sure why or who he thought would block that for St. Francis, but it was Greg Andrade who skied for the rejection. Hooper out and Andy Ball, who got the start in this game back in. 42-40, Blue Devils by two. Inbounds goes for Cannon. He puts on the floor, bounces it for Omer, cut off by Seymour. Now back down low for Cannon, who spins in the lane. Left hand jump hook is good. Jalen Cannon with 12 now on five out of seven from the floor. It's tied at 42. You can't give him position on the block. Matt Mobley goes right, double teamed. Has the ball tipped, gets it back, drives baseline, cross court Seymour on the left, puts behind the back. Now Seymour backs it out. 15 on the clock. Seymour between the legs. Seymour goes left. Seymour has the ball tipped. Stolen by Andy Fall. Being chased by Drakeford. He dunks and he's fouled by Ferrani Drakeford. Boy, if you're Ferrani, you either foul him or let him go. Do not just give him a love tap on the way to the dunk. 32nd timeout called by the D A L U T, who passed away a few years back. So he uh, inducted also into the Hall of Fame. That's great to see for him. And it's called for his family. Bob is a terrific, terrific individual. Again, at Wagner for a while and then with the North, Northeast Conference. Here's Andy Paul trying to give the Terriers a five, uh, three-point lead. And his free throw is no good. And Central led by four at the half. And the Terriers have taken a two-point lead. Kaelin Cumberlanders into the game, replacing Andrade. Seymour being guarded by Jewel. Seymour goes left. The left hand dribble now puts it back to the right. Now holds the ball, gives it outside for Peel. Now for Mobley. The Terriers are doing exactly what they did the last time these two teams met. Now Mobley drives, and he's fouled. He's going to get two shots. Wolves trying to make something happen with 10 on the uh, Glenn, shot. Glenn Breaker wants it on yeah. the ground, and and, yeah. and he's he's got a right to because it's the same play that got called against him in the first half. Not true. Uh, Mobley wasn't shooting. The other guy was. Right. Mobley to shoot two, and his first one is good. Gave him that, that Euro step on the All of a sudden, it's yeah. when did the Euro uh, step oh, come in? I don't really know. I just called it a drop step. When did it become a Euro step? It's a drop step. 44 to 44. We're tied. Four minutes gone by. Second half. Two three zone by the Blue Devils. Empty Paul has it. Tries to get it down low for Omer. He does his shot. No good. But it's dunked back up and in by Jalen Cannon. 14 point and six rebound. One more ties Ronnie Rob. 46 44. Here's Seymour. Being harassed by Jewel. Seymour goes left off the Drakeford screen. Now feels the screen. Seymour looking. Hands off for Mobley. Guarded by Ulmer. Mobley. Being, being moved out. One on one move. A three. It is good. In the grill. Oh, Lowell Ulmer. 
47-46, and now an offensive foul called underneath on Andy Fall. A little frustration inside as he tried to clear out. Well, the 21 versus the Blue Devils in that victory. Wagner is trailing Sacred Heart right now by 11. A minute or two and a half gone by in the second half. We'll get you all the scores when we get a chance as the Blue Devils lead it by one. Seymour up the left side. Jewel harassing him. Seymour puts between the legs. A little shake and bake. Drives all the way. Puts up at the right hand. No good. Rebound taken by Jalen Cannon. There it is. He ties Ron Robinson for second all time. Ahead for Andy Fall. Leaves it up no good. Tipped and taken by Cumberlander. Cumberlander into the front court. Left side for Seymour. Quick pass in the left corner for Peel. Fakes the jumper. Drives the lane. Travels with the basketball. Should have shot it. I thought he had a good look. Exactly what Howie's telling him. Brandon talking to himself a little bit. <laughs> now he's working hard to break Brandon of his selflessness. 47-46. 14 40 left. Jones, a little hesitation. They've held him in check so far. He's only got two points. In the middle for fall, his jumper is good. Now Brent Jones with his third assist, if they give it to him, has just passed Belton Jones on the all-time list. He's at least tied him. Mobley, one-on-one move against Kevin Douglas at 6'5", 220, right corner for Drakeford. Drakeford holds, lives it out for Cumberlander. Mobley is hammered by Kevin Douglas, who plays very physical at 6'5", 220 to the Bronx. Yeah, they have how many players now? Is that four different yep. guys guarding uh, Matt Mobley in, in, in an effort to, not, not to find the right matchup, I don't think, but I think to wear him down. You know, Ulmer, Douglas, those are big bodies, and they're, they're making Matt really work hard. Inbounds goes for Mobley, puts it up no good, but he's fouled by either Jones or Douglas. It goes on Douglas, who doesn't like the call. Would have Matt rather Mobley. seen Jones get his third instead of Douglas. He's played 22 minutes in the game tonight, 5 for 10 from the floor, 5 for 6 from 3, and now 3 for 3 from the free throw line. Eighteen for Mobley, make it nineteen. He has been terrific. How he talked about it in the free game. Need a game like this from Matt Mobley. 49-48. Blue Devils back up by one. Six minutes gone by. Down low, Jalen Cannon powers it up and in with the right hand. Too easy. Seven for nine from the floor for Jalen Cannon. He has sixteen. Terriers back up by one. Much better defense in the second half. Blue Devils having trouble uh, getting into the lane. Seymour's dribbled it for about, well, what, 20 seconds of this possession. He still has it. Puts it up around and good. Why not? And Kevin Seymour pleading with his teammates that he needs some help. Set a screen or a pick. Seymour makes it 51 50. Stand with that uh, drive to the bucket. And now a foul called on Ferrani Drakeford as Jalen Cannon got position down low. One thing Cannon does really well, Marcus, he uses his lower side, his hips, uh, his junk, if you want to, you know, his trunk, I guess you call it. Yeah. So he does a terrific job. Yeah, he, he locks you in, so you have to beat him to the point. Or you got to work a little bit harder to get around him. If he gets, if he posts up, and they bounce it into him, you know he's going to score seventy-five percent of the time down there. Cannon with three NEC Player of the Week awards this year. Inbounds goes to Andy Fall, who turns on Barrett. Jump hook won't go. Cannon with the rebound, up and one. And he's just too physical and. They've got to back him out of there. 6'6", six, six, about 235. It's all muscle. That gives him seven rebounds, and he's just tied Ron Robinson on the all-time list. His free throw no good, and Barrett with the rebound for the Blue Devils. One-point lead for the Terriers. Seven minutes gone by here in the second half. Now Mobley brings it up right side Seymour. Nabria guarding him. Takes the pass left. Terrier's going with three quick guards in the game right now. Seymour on the right side for Peel. Puts on the floor. Fakes his man. His jumper is no good. Rebounded by Cannon. 
That's his eighth, and there it is, second all time. Jones, right side, Sanabria. Back on the left for Cannon. Left corner, Jewel. Jewel holds, looks down low, in the middle for Cannon. Puts it up no good, but he's fouled by Corey Barrett. Uh, Corey got over there just a little bit too late, had an idea, but again, allowing Jalen Cannon to catch the ball 12 feet from the basket in the lane is a recipe for disaster if you sent it. You've got to deny him that entry pass. Free throw is good. Over five 15, straight points. And over 1,500 for his career. Next one is good as well. Three-point lead for the Terriers. A little pressure now from St. Francis. Inbounds for Mobley. Streaks it up against Jewel. Twelve and a half remaining. Mobley goes to the right. Mobley, a little crossover dribble. Trying to drive. Baseline in the middle for Peel. Step back, jumper, back rim, no good. Rebound by Andy Paul. Outlet, Sanabria. Left side, Jones. A triple. No good. Short. Rebound, Paul. Lobs it out for Sanabria. Back on the left for Jones. Had a notion for three. Fakes right. Bounce pass down low. Fall. Cross court on the right for Sanabria. Triple is good. 57 54. Terrific ball movement by the Terriers. Mobley into the lane. Gets it for Peel. Reverses. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Corey Barrett. 11 50 remaining. Take immediate time with the pregame. Alumni day here at Nature Gym. A little 1 3 1 now by Central. Hit the 7 51. Bounce pass on the right side for Jones. Jones trying to split the defense into the lane. He's bumped by Ferrani Drake for he didn't like the call. But wow. And that's his foot. Boy, he's in for 10 seconds and picked up the fourth foul. And he's going to come out. I, you know what, Bruce? I don't think they can do it without him. There's Cannon again. 59-51. Keenan feasting down low. He's got 22. Eight-point lead. Mobley, one-on-one against Jewel. Pull-up jumper from the free-throw line. Splash. Moves with 21 now. Breaks a 9 nothing run. 11-10 remaining. Sanabria against the 1-3-1. One, one. one right. Right side for Jones. Corner for Keenan. A three. It's good. Jalen Cannon feeling it in the second half. He's up to 23. Now Mobley the other way is free. He's an air ball. He's claiming that it was blocked. You had a good angle. I didn't see it. I didn't see the block. Uh, he, he was just a little bit off. Took a quick trigger three. Uh, and you know what? Jalen Cannon proven to the, uh, to the pro scouts and he'll make some money overseas that if he can do that and play inside. Nabria outside, played by Peel loosely. Around the zone they go for Jewel. Jones fakes left, drives, drop step, left side. Sanabria, triple, good. 65 to 53, just like that. A 15 to 4 uh, run. In about four and a half minutes. They've outscored him by 16 in the second half. KC driving. Doesn't go. He gets his own rebound, but he's fouled underneath on the shot. Well, nice to see Taylor following his shot. Good explosion to the basket. Matt Mobley has a seventh 20-point game of the year, but he needs to have a 30-point game for sure. That was going to make a run. Cumberlanders three throw is good. KC, I think, has played well tonight. One for two from the floor. That was a fast dunk. First three assists. Yep. A couple of beautiful passes to Ronnie Drakeford as Andrade checks in. I'd like to see him hit. I know on Howie would too. Like to see him hit the glass a little bit more. Cumberlander out and Andrade back into the game. So he'll play down low along with Barrett and Brandon Peel. Ten-point lead as we approach the halfway point in the second half. Cannon trying to post up down low on Andrade. Left side fall. Down low Cannon in the middle for Jones. His little jumper is good. Again, terrific ball movement by the Terriers. 
Cannon found the mismatch. Might have to go big here, Mark. And now a tip and almost a steal by Cannon. Knocked out of bounds. And well, we haven't seen Mustafa Jones in the ball game, and we've got Ferrani with four fouls. And bounce goes to Peel. Hands it off for Mobley, trying to get free, but great defense by Snobrio. Both sides for Andrade. Andrade lobs it out for Peel. Peel goes right, right side Mobley. Mobley crosses over. Back door, it's kicked and out of bounds. Well, he knew Peel was going that way, the back door wide open, but then in the middle, Jones with a, uh, a goalie kick save. Carriers by 12 in the midst of a 17 to 4 run after Blue Devils led 51 50, and Mobley is fouled by Jewel, who doesn't like it. A 16 foul on Tyreek Jewel. But both teams will be shooting one and one. Next foul. Mobley to inbound. Mobley gets for Barrett, hands off for Mobley. That's by Jewel. Jewel sets the screen. Mobley goes left. Right side for Peel, steps back, drives, outside for Seymour. Seymour, penetrating, right side, Mobley is three. He is good. He's got 24. Mobley's trying to keep him in the game. But Mark is a little different offensively here in the uh, second half, a little uh, east to west, not as much north to south, right? Yeah, you got that right. The Blue Devils got to try to get back to that. Now Jewel hangs in the air, shot won't go, and he gets his own rebound down low for Cannon, who banks it in. Corey Barrett had it go right through his hands, and then Jewel was there to pick it up. Drakeford's going to come back into the game, next dead ball. Barrett drives all the way, shot won't go, gets his own rebound, off the glass and good. And after Tarani Jacob was going to go in for Corey Barrett, but after that exchange, how he says, back to the bench. Well, it's 8.16 to go. Maybe he's trying to play and give him a little more rest to, and well, keep him in under the eight. You got to think about the foul truck. Yeah. Hey, they're down eight. Barrett makes his first free throw in conference play. He's now one for five. It's down to eight. 8-10 remaining. Jones to the right. Use it for Jules. Canabria against that 2-3 zone. Swinging around for Jones. Almost travels. Down low for Cannon. Double team. Jump hook. No. Rebound Barrett. He's off Seymour. Up to the right. He stops. Brings it back out. And a reset. Eight point lead. Seymour. Looking for Mobley. He's got him. Played by Jules. To the right. Mobley. Drives, double team, hang, shot won't go, tip won't go, taken by Sanabria. Sanabria, left side, Jones, three, good. Brent Jones, first three of the game, he's 40% in conference play, and that one hurt, back up to 11. He was in rhythm, wasn't he? The right goes Seymour. Seymour played by Sanabria, good defensive stance, getting low. Hook pass on the right for Peel. Played by Fall. Peel outside the arc of three. Back rims at no. Long rebound for Andy Paul. Brandon Phillips gas. Well, they played a minute 20 since the last dead ball, and it's taken them well under the eight-minute media timeout. How he was hoping to get the, the rest and uh, then get Ferrani back in with a lot of time left. Now we are on the left side for Jewel. Looks in the middle of Cannon. Right side, Sanabria, his three won't go. Rebound in the corner by Andrade, and he's bumped by Sanabria. 6.38 remaining. The second half, 72. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's the Mount St. Mary's Bryant game on ESPN. You and Bryant leading by 10, 48-38. I've scoring the Mount so far, 16-4 in the second half. And with 8.10 left, second half. LIU Brooklyn leading Robert Morris, 52-43 in Brooklyn as Greg Andrade drains the first free throw. Greg averaging just over a point in conference play. Plays about 14 minutes a game. 
in NEC games, and he makes two free throws, and Kalen Cumberlander checks in for him. Blue Devils, nine for nine, second half at the foul line. Seventy-two, sixty-three, six and a half for me. Left side for Jones, and they may take the air out of the ball a little bit. Jones, guarded by Seymour. It's screen, goes right to the free throw line. Hesitation, down low cannon, leaves it up no good. Whoa. Rebound, Jones, and a reset. Well, uh, Blue Devils catch a break when he misses a bunny. Now Kalen, uh, Kalen's got it again. And he just gets 29th point. Jalen Cannon adding to the milestone of over 1,500 points. 74-63. Hesitation for Cumberlander. Screen from Barrett. Cumberlander goes right. Hangs in the air. Down low Drakeford and he lays it in. Fourth assist of the game for Kalen Cumberlander. Hanging around. They got to they gotta have some stops, though. And you know they're going to go inside. They're going to milk the clock and then yep. look to feed Cannon. Jones outside looking down low in the direction of Cannon. Now a pick and roll. Cannon, a long three is good. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. Well, they've got him for 29 now. That's his third three, I think, isn't it? Second three. Second three of the game. Cumberlander drives, hangs in the air. Tough shot, won't go. Cannon grabs the rebound, his 10th. For Jones. All the way. Lays it up no good. Knocks out of bounds by Drakeford. With 5.01 remaining. Lead is 12. Andrade in, along with Brandon Peel. Bear it out. Also, Kalen Cumberlander. Uh, that's correct. Now it's a Cannon with 32. 32 and 10. Jones slaps the ball. 12 point lead. Jewel straight away. Sanabria. Len Breka. He takes some air out of the ball here. With 450 remaining. Yeah, they'll work it around. And again, Cannon is, you know what? He is, uh, he's set up a tent. He's got a grill in the lane. And he's eating large. Setting screens, though, as well. He's a smart player. Now, Fall has it. Lob on the right for Cannon. Jump hook, won't go, fall tips, Brandon Peel with the rebound as he protects. That's his fourth of the game. Seymour, left side Mobley, fakes the three, drives the lane. His shot no good, but a foul called on MD Fall. 12-point lead for the Terriers. And Matt Mobley back to the line, 24 for Mobs. He'll get a couple. First one by Mobley. He rattles it in. And he's done what he could offensively, Mark. But I know how he would like to see him get more rebounds. Next one by Mobley is also good. Well, you got a 10-point situation. You've got to get a stop. And, and it all starts with defending the cannon in the middle. Cannon officially now with 32. That's a career high for him. Jones to the left, right side Sanabria, back for Jones, quickly on the left for Jewel, a three, was challenged, no good, rebound Sanabria over Matt Mobley. Well, and Matt's defense, it was a long rebound, yep. he had yep. the position that time, it just went over his head. Mobley seeking that elusive first rebound of the game, 77-67, again, still within striking distance, down to 10. Jones, a fadeaway jumper, no good, and the fall had it, but lost, oh. They're going to say it'll be. I'm yeah, they say, say, they say Ferrani knocked it out. They say Ferrani Draper knocked it out. With Opened up conference play in the 73-67 loss at home to FDU. Still down to 10-15 to shoot inbounds for Jewel. Back out for Sanabria. Sanabria played by Mobley. Looking to drive in the corner for Jewel. With five on the shot clock, fadeaway jumpers, no good. Rebound, Cannon underneath. Fakes Peel, powers it up, no good. Tipped by Peel, taken by Drakeford. Blue Devils need to cash in here. Here's Drakeford, left corner for Andrade. For Mobley, a three, it's good. Down to seven for Ronnie Drakeford. Grabbing his 10th rebound of the game. Makes it 77 to 70. 
Well, they withstood four opportunities in one possession for uh, St. Francis. They didn't give up a bucket. Jones played by Seymour. Jones to the right. Bounces it for Jewel. 255 remaining. Paul sets the screen. Field goes out and gets some. Jewel almost travels with the ball. It's a back as you can see it from Cannon. 10 on the shot clock. Jones driving. Leaves it for Fall. Little jump hook. Won't go. Fall and Peel fight for the rebound. Peel has it. Gets it for Seymour. Seymour into the front court. Seymour lob on the left on Drotty. Puts on the floor in the middle for Peel. Peel drives. Stops. Gets his man up in the air. Banks it up no good. A lot of contact. Knocked out of bounds almost, but Jewel tried to save it, and he stepped out of bounds. Brandon Peel is huffing and puffing and doing his best, but he is gassed, Bruce. So Blue Devils will have it. Fresh 35, 227 remaining, down seven. And that's Drakeford. Hands off for Mobley. Mobs. It's a Drakeford pick. Goes right. He drives. He hangs. He scoops. No good, but he'll get two free throws. I thought Bobes thought he was gonna, there was going to be more contact than what he received. Yeah, he was prepared for the uh, the bumping of the bodies going up strong, but at least he gets to the line where the Blue Devils in the second half have been pretty good. Matt Mobley looking for his, his third 30-point game, and he knocks it down. Yeah, the last one was January 5th against Ooh, Sacred Heart. This one, no good. That's the first Blue Devil miss in 12 attempts in the half. Sanabria bringing it up against Cumberlander. Good defense. See if they double team, and Glenn Breaker wants to talk it over. Blue Devils have made a run of it, down by Vinny's 14 in the second half, and they have come back to cut it to 7. On just a terrific offensive game from Matt Mobley. You're down. Six, two ten to go. You know, you don't have to exert too much pressure. You don't have to get the turnover. You, know, you can play solid. You've got to stop. You play this possession out. The 205 remaining. Jones brings it up against Seymour. Right in front of the Terrier bench. Let's see what Glenn Brake has called out. Jones goes right. Looking for Cannon. Can't find him. He drives baseline in the corner for Jewel. Jewel drives baseline, drives, and dumps. Not the man you expected, but Jewel with the slam. It's 79-71. Mobley holds the ball, bounces it for Drakeford. Dr. Dre drives, lays it up with the right hand and good. That's how he used the timeout. Not yet. Two possession games, 79-73, 130 remaining. Cannon holds. 25 on the shot clock. Mobley fouls him. Well, well, you let yeah. 10 seconds go off, but Jalen Cannon, 65% from the free throw line. Well, it's only one and one. Yep. Blue Devils with just 17 fouls. So St. Francis committed 10, so anything they do will send the Blue Devils line for two unless there's a bucket. Career high for Cannon tonight, 32. His free throw is good. Make it 33. 80 to 73. Jalen Cannon, preseason, first team, all conference. Last year, first team. Two years ago, second team. Member of the all rookie team, makes two free throws. 81 73. 122 remaining. Cumberlander into the front court. Cumberlander driving. Hands off for Seymour. Seymour gets a pick from Drake first. Dr. Dre in the lane. Up with the left hand. No good, but he's fouled by Amd Fall. And Drakeford, he's got a double-double. 14 points and 10 rebounds. With the shot, with the clock stopped. Trying to get a couple free throws here and cut it to a two-possession game again. Then you go for the steal. It's Drakeford's free throw is good. Funny, the Blue Devils of the last two and a half, three minutes, back to that aggressive driving to the bucket type of offense that we didn't see for the first, say, 15 or so minutes of this half. Two free throws made by Drakeford. Howie will take time. We'll keep it here. 81-75 mark with 1-10 remaining. And points. It's 76 and an 84-76 loss on December 20th. At Here's, the AIT. Here's the pressure. Cannon. Get it in for Jones, good free throw shooter, and he's fouled. 
Brent Jones, 75% in conference play. You foul with 109 remaining. Well, I mean, this is a little different than how Dickman has played it over the years. Uh, he has not been one to foul and extend the game with a minute, minute and a half to go, and you're only down a couple of possessions, but you can try it this way. One and one for Jones, 75%. Three throws good. They're not a great, uh, only 66% of conference play from the line as a team this year. Jones takes his time, dips the knees, and knocks it down. Now Kevin Seymour will come back in. So actually Andrade checked in for Seymour in that possession. Inbounds goes for Mobley. Eight-point carrier lead. Mobley all the way. Puts it up no good, but he's fouled. Sanabria. Oh, actually, they give it to Tariq Jewell. And there goes Matt back to the line. Matt Mobley with his third 30-point game, 32 versus Safer Hart. Next one by Moves is no good. Rebound by Jalen Cannon, and he's fouled by Brandon Peel. But not a bad yeah, foul there, right? Yeah, well. Especially on, on Cannon, too, as well, right? Yeah, and the problem is, is that it's Peel's fourth, but at this point, you you know, you, you can't yeah. play that game, and you just got to take your shot, play the, the odds. Last Cannon's one free one, throw is way. good. Yeah, they're making their free throws. Next one by Cannon is short. Rebounded by Drakeford. It's 11. Here's Mobley looking to go all the way. He does. Puts it up no good. Rebounded by Jewel. And we get a foul. Mobley's career high was earlier this year against Sacred Heart. 32. Looks like he was going for a uh, career high on that one. Did not get the foul call. Mobley's bent to the free throw line eight times. In this game, still 8 out of 15 from the floor. Blue Devils 44%. Jules free throw in and out. Still time, 52.8. The most it'll be is a three-possession game. Jules spins the ball. And the junior from Brooklyn makes one out of two. 85-76. Cumberland. Right to the rack, scoops it up good, and Howie takes time. Brent Jones, how he got the ball in, uh, he bounds in time. Don't forget, be here at 1 o'clock, Mark. Get here a little early, of course. I will. Get your popcorn, get your pretzel, and belly up to press row, and watch the women take on Mount St. Mary's. That game at 1 o'clock. And, and Robert Morris, 8-2. and two. Sacred Heart, 5-4, five and four, and the Mount at 5-5. Five and five. Mount lost three in a row. Cannon trying to get it in, and a hold called on Matt Mobley. No time going off the clock. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're going to foul, it's a, certainly a quick one, but it's the fourth now on Matt. I think, it, I think Howie, he's got one timeout left. It's a quandary, Bruce. He, You've got three players on the floor that have four fouls. If you can't get them out, then uh, the odds are one of them is going to foul out unless Kalen or, or Greg Andrade can commit the foul. Free throw by Jones is good. Making it 8, 86, 78, 48 seconds left. Jones makes two. 87-78, inbounds Mobley. Mobley with the ball. Mobley still with the ball. Mobley drives, lays it up. No good. Rebound Drakeford, lays it in. And Howie takes his final timeout. Now let's see if he subs somebody defensively. You might as well right here back in December. Riley's coming on fouls at the end. Cannon gets it in. Jones has it, and he's fouled by Kalen Cumberlander, 87 to 80. 37.1 remaining. We've got to hope that he misses one. 
for two. Jones played well in the second half. He's up to 11 points. His free throw is good. Just joining us, Jones with the seven assists. Moved into 10th place all time on the NEC list, passing Belton Jones. Quinnipiac's uh, nightmare. 88-80 makes one out of two. Straight for the rebound, coast to coast, left side on a three. No good. Brandon Peel gets held underneath. Yep, Amdi fall, and I think he, that's the final fall for him. He's making his way towards the bench. Going to check out with six points. Five rebounds and five blocks in the game for Amdi fall. In five pounds? Yeah, and Brandon Glenn. Peel gets a chance to cut it to six. Glenn Breaker really hasn't played a lot of people in the second half. No, we haven't seen Gustafson or well, Hopkinson, Jennifer, yeah. Olipson. Olipson, yeah. Hooper came in and Douglas for a brief time as Peel's free throw is good. 88-81. Brandon Peel trying to cut it to a two-possession game. Free throw is no good off the back rim and a lane violation called on Brandon Peel. Trying to follow that rebound. Yeah, he knew right away when he let it go that it was not going to be a good one. 88-81, 28 seconds left. Seymour checks in. That hurts. It keeps him three possessions. Inbounds for Jones, and he's fouled. Is that it? Nope. They gave it to Kevin Seymour. How we, I heard how we yell at Brandon <laughs> in the direction of Brandon Peel. 25.2 remaining. Well, Brent Jones really only needs one here. Free throw is good. All his free throw attempts coming in the second half. Six out of seven for Brent Jones. Another player who's borderline, Mark. They, they could have two first-teamers in Jones and, uh, of course, Gillian Cannon. Jones, 49 steals coming into the game, leaves the NEC. He's got one tonight. Mobley takes the three. It's no good. Rebounded by the Terriers. Outlet for Jones. Ten seconds left. Glenn Breaker is going to say no shots. And the Terriers. Blue Devils gave him a battle, but St. Francis, New York wins it 90 to 81. 